Hi everyone, it's Melissa from Micah Beauty. So this week I'm answering your first round of questions. Thank you so much for sending those over. I had a lot of great questions and so I think we should just jump right in. Okay, first question we got here is from Julia in Jersey City. Hey Julia. So you asked me what is a good foundation and concealer for sensitive skin that's not too heavy um, and also moisturizing. Girl, I got you. Uh, I just got into this really great line called RMS Beauty. And RMS Beauty wraps in your skincare with your makeup. So it's the best of both worlds. And they have something called the Uncover Up Cream Foundation. And in fact, that's what I'm wearing right now, okay? And I love it because it's super lightweight, it's very moisturizing, it gives you that glow from within. And uh, it has coconut oil to help bring out that glow. And it's, I never had an issue with breaking out. So that's something I would recommend for you. They have a great concealer to go along with it. And also another concealer that I would recommend is from Makeup Forever. So Makeup Forever has an HD concealer that is super pigmented, but it's almost like an eye cream. So a little goes a long way, you just kind of dab. And what I recommend with any concealer is using a fluffy brush, almost like the same shape as your blender brush in your crease that you would use to blend out the concealer concealer below so this way it avoids applying too much product and creasing underneath the eyes. I love Makeup Forever. I worked with them for many, many years and I was able to go on the road with them for a really cool, exciting makeup remix tour and we taught women how to use their makeup and teach them new tricks and so a lot of my artistry and techniques are based from Makeup Forever. So most likely you'll hear a lot of suggestions uh, from that line down the road. Okay, moving on. My next question comes from Bianca. Hey, B. This one was about eczema. And I understand with people with eczema, they have an overactive immune system. And so there's a lot of different triggers that can factor into when they have a, a, a breakout or an outbreak of eczema on their body. So first and foremost, making sure that you're taking lukewarm to cool showers. Now, I know that you're up north, so that could be a little bit tricky right now. Maybe wait till the summer when it gets a little bit warmer. But for now, do lukewarm because that's the first thing that's going to strip your skin and make it feel dry, including your hair and use a cleansing oil in the shower. Um, and also for face wash, I have something that I use personally and it's from CeraVe. My skin also gets very dry. And this is a great, great cleanser. So it's the Hydrating Facial Cleanser and it even has a little stamp here from the Eczema Association and uh, it has ceramides which are really really important for your skin to help boost that barrier and also hyaluronic acid which is the holy grail when it comes to skincare ingredients i love this and it's very very gentle on the skin you can find this at cvs or walgreens or harman's and so this is a great brand for you to pay attention to and i also recommend avene and they have a, a cream called the sickle fate restorative skin cream so that's great when you have dry patches on the face and you can apply that and then the next couple days voila it's gone you is a cleansing balm so this is a great little cleansing balm that i picked up at target love this and it's called versed and you open it up it's this white very hydrating moisturizing cleansing balm and this is great for taking off your makeup at the end of the day it's a lot more gentle than using a makeup wipe sometimes they have alcohol in those wipes uh, and it ends up just stripping and drying your skin or making it red and rashy. So I recommend balms are wonderful. It makes like taking your mascara off like nothing. Really breaks down the makeup and then you tissue it right off. Right off. You could follow up with the CeraVe so you're doing more of like that double cleanse. So that is what I would recommend for you. So up next, I'm going to give a shout out to my old high school classmate, Brandon Vu. Oh, hi, um, miss you, honey. We went to school. Oh my gosh, it seems like ages ago. And I remember you being the most incredible artist, incredible drawer. And um, it was so good to hear from you. And I'm happy that you asked me a question because this is a Q&A for everyone. Guy, girl, she, he, them. You guys can ask me anything. So you were asking about um, facial hair. You were having a little trouble growing it in evenly. So the first thing I suggested to you 
is to exfoliate. So exfoliating will get rid of the dead skin and help open up the pores so they can breathe. Uh, you wanna unclog them as much as you possibly can so you have that on your side. And then secondly, you wanna follow that up with a treatment. So what I've learned as an inside trick is that you can use a lash serum to help fill in hair growth around the face. For example, you can go in with like down into your sideburns if that's feeling a little pet patchy, or you can go into the jawline there and help fill in. But it's something you do have to stick with and do every day. I recommend doing it at night before you go to bed. Uh, if you want to take it a step further, you could go out and buy yourself a little brow powder. Um, brow powders from Anastasia Beverly Hills are fabulous. They really stay put. They have a great color range and you can go in with an angled brush and just lightly do tiny little strokes along um, the jawline to fill in and make sure that everything's even. You also mentioned how your skin gets red. Well, I'm gonna show you something that I keep in my kit and in my medicine cabinet. This is called Dr. Jart's Sycopare Tiger Drops. This helps neutralize and soothe your skin. So you, all you gotta do is put maybe like one or two drops right where the redness is and you massage it in and you'll see it just disappear and neutralize and soften. This is great for guys, for girls, for everybody. Love, love, love this stuff. So it's helping with inflammation and redness. Okay, so I covered all the information that I want to go over this round and I'm going to post links down below so it's easy for you to find all the product. Um, keep asking more questions. I'd love to hear from you. And to be quite honest, I wasn't sure if I was going to move forward with making these videos because of, you know, everything going on in the world right now. But the more that I thought about it, the, if I could make somebody happy or help them figure something out or give them something to look forward to, then by all means, then I will do it for that reason alone. Um, thanks again for stopping by and I'll see you soon.